Is it all about that tape that came out on that Friday? Well, I think it was about the first debate. Um, that's where you saw the momentum begin to falter. Uh, he had been rising in the polls uh, up until that point, uh, then followed by the, uh, the comments about Miss Universe, uh, the tape, uh, other kind of email bl uh, and Twitter blasts that went out that portrayed him as you know, somebody kind of off message. And that's where the numbers began to change. I mean, this development in Texas is really quite interesting. Georgia and Arizona possibly as well uh, could, could be in play. Uh, they're, they're Republican now. They're leaning a Republican. It's possible by Election Day they could be in play. Okay, so um, in, in terms of, I mean, we've got another debate coming up this week. Donald Trump still has three weeks. Can he turn these numbers around? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, you don't see the language that might do that quite yet. And again, three weeks, as we've discovered the last three weeks, you know, who would have thought three weeks ago that you would have had the events transpired that have transpired that have ch changed the direction of the polling? Uh, you know, he's talking about a rigged election and he's getting entangles with the Republican leadership over that issue. They say these elections are not rigged and they aren't, right? In the United States, we hold elections and they work. There's always some fritzes here and there, but, but they work. That language is not going to engender a lot of support among the Republican leadership, as well as those individuals who at this stage of the game are thinking, who do I just trust more? Yeah. Our, our poll over this past weekend found people still felt by four percentage points Donald Trump to be more straightforward and honest than Hillary Clinton. That's because of the emails issue, among other things. Uh, but that can erode.